In my 8630 dry needle, this area is called Forest Meadows, great neighborhood. There's a small HOA fee, but you got a park right there. And you'll see behind the house, there's a park as well. Great curb appeal. And it's 8630 dry needle. So yes, let's go in here and check it out. All right, so as you walk in, you've got a half bath right off the entry, which I actually really like. It gives guests essentially privacy as they view the home. Basement stairs down there. Then you got a nice family room. Really huge kitchen. And of course the eat-in kitchen here as well. What drew me to this home is some of the finishes. These tiles are nice. Got a full pantry in here. A ton of space. And it just flows really well. The backyard is very unique. And it backs a school, which I see Let's lock it. Come on. It opens in. All right. So they have a nice raised flower beds, nice gardens, and it backs a school, which I suppose could be a good and bad thing, but it's good in my mind because you'll never have neighbors behind you. It'll be quiet on the weekends, on the evenings, and you got mountain views. It's hard to tell because of the humidity in the air and the haze, but you got mountain views back there. All right, so let me check out the rest. And stamped concrete. So they did a lot of nice things at this house. All right, so I will, so this is the downstairs. Let me go upstairs and I'll head downstairs. So you have the laundry room up here, pretty good size. Over here, you got, a, once again, a big guest bedroom. And it looks like it's a Jack and Jill setup. So you got a shared bathroom, full bathroom. So it's almost like double masters here. So you got this bedroom, go through the bathroom. It flows into this bedroom with the amazing wallpaper. And this one has a walk-in closet. So this is a good size room as well. All right, then you got linen closet. Actually, a real closet, not just a linen closet. That's probably your linen closet right here. Yes. All right, and then you got a huge master. So this home is really nice. I don't see anything wrong. As I walk through homes, I look for structural things and some cosmetic things. But overall, I'm looking for the overall quality of the house. And this looks really nice. And this one's in the same general area you wanted. You're close to Black Forest where there's a lot of horse boarding and things like that. Good closet. And it's, this is a super nice house. And this has been the market 10 days, so there's a chance it'll still be around when you guys are able to get an offer in. So I'd say once your home's on the market, we can start getting offers in down here. Of course, that totally depends on what you want to do. All right, so let's head. Oh, so here's the garage, which we, it's full of stuff, but it's a two car garage with a little extra storage. We got coat closet here. And I'll check out the basement. So, not, not, it's not the hugest, hugest, is that a word? It's not the largest basement, but I would put, probably put the TV against that wall where they probably had it. And I'd put a couch, a sectional right there. And then you got a lot of good space. You could put another chair over here. You got one more bedroom down here for the guest room with the standard double closet. Then you got the full bath. So this home is very nice, very high-end finishes.
for this area and these home types. So all in all, I would say this is a very nice home. And I'll show you the outside on the way out, which I think I actually already did. So yeah, so that's the home and I'll go on to the next.